Can one imagine a Middle East where Arab nations and Israel coexist peacefully, with diplomatic ties and thriving economies? This idea might have seemed far-fetched in the past, but the landscape of the Middle East has been transforming over the last few decades. The process, often referred to as Arab-Israeli normalization, has been a complex journey of political maneuvering, strategic alliances, and changing ideologies. Our story begins in the 1970s, a time when the Arab-Israeli conflict was at its peak. However, amidst the tension, efforts for peace began to emerge. The first significant breakthrough was seen when Egypt, an Arab powerhouse, signed a peace treaty with Israel in 1979. This marked the beginning of a slow but steady process of normalization between Israel and its Arab neighbors. The next milestone came in 1994 when Jordan followed Egypt's footsteps and established a peace treaty with Israel. However, the road to normalization was far from smooth and was often marked by periods of intense conflict and political upheaval. The turn of the 21st century saw a shift in the dynamics of the Middle East. A common adversary, Iran, began to change the traditional alliances. Israel and the Arab Gulf states, particularly Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates and Oman, found themselves sharing security interests. This shared concern began to foster a growing alliance, creating room for dialogue and cooperation. However, the most significant leap in the normalization process came in 2020, with the signing of the Abraham Accords. The United Arab Emirates and Bahrain formally recognized Israel, a move that was later mirrored by Sudan and Morocco. These agreements marked a considerable shift in the Middle East's political landscape with more Arab nations choosing diplomacy over discord with Israel. Yet, these steps towards normalization have not been without controversy. Rising tensions with Palestinians, particularly around settlement activity, have threatened the expansion of these agreements. The 2023 Israel-Hamas war has significantly impacted diplomatic efforts, leading Saudi Arabia to suspend talks on normalization with Israel. Moreover, the normalization process has been met with resistance from the public in many Arab nations. The dismissal of the Libyan foreign minister following a secret meeting with Israeli officials in Rome in 2023 is a case in point. In summary, the process of Arab-Israeli normalization has been a journey filled with diplomatic breakthroughs and political challenges. It began with Egypt in the 1970s and has since included Jordan, the United Arab Emirates, Bahrain, Sudan, and Morocco. The shared concern over Iran's influence in the region has also prompted a growing alliance between Israel and the Gulf states. However, tensions with Palestinians and public opposition in many Arab nations have posed significant obstacles to the expansion of these agreements. The question remains, will the Middle East see more nations choosing diplomacy over discord, or will the road to normalization continue to be a path fraught with challenges? The answer to this question will undoubtedly shape the future of the Middle East.